Old Edinburgh's main drag, nicknamed the Royal Mile, leads from the castle downhill through the old town to the palace. This colorful jumble is the tourist's Edinburgh, a dense tangle of historic buildings, fun museums, and cultural cliches on sale. Edinburgh was a wonder in the 17th and 18th centuries. It was famed for its skyscrapers. They say the first anywhere, but also for its filth. It was once the most congested city in Europe. Its most wretched couldn't even afford candles. They lived in darkness. It said they knew each other not by how they looked, but by how they smelled. Medieval skyscrapers towered 10 stories and higher. Frontage on High Street was so limited that the buildings were narrow and tall, crammed shoulder to shoulder with little courtyards called closes branching off. These closes were connected to the main drag by skinny lanes or even tunnels. 400 years ago, Edinburgh was nicknamed Aldreaky. The entire city was a black-stained mess of chimneys and reeked of smoke. The Royal Mile ends at the gates of Holyrood Palace, for 500 years the official royal residence here in Edinburgh. For several centuries, Scotland was ruled from London. Parliament hadn't met here since 1707. Recently, the Scots voted to bring their parliament home, and London didn't object. In the year 2000, Edinburgh resumed its position as home of Scotland's parliament. Scotland's strikingly modern parliament building opened in 2004. The Catalan architect, Enrique Morales, mixed bold windows, wild angles, and organic themes into a startling complex that would, as he envisioned, surge from out of the rock and into the city. 